ratio and proportion unitary unitary method in unitary method we first find the value of one quantity from the value of the given quantity then we use this value to find the value of the required quantity unitary method is used in business maths and for many other applications unitary method focuses on the word unit which means one the key for understanding this concept is knowing for one if we know one then we can find for many by multiplying if we know more then we can find for one by dividing observe the picture on the screen cost of one by multiplying gives cost of many cost of many by dividing gives cost of one while working out the problems using unitary method we come across certain variations in which the values of two quantities depend on each other in such a way that a change in one results in a corresponding change in the other then the two quantities are said to be in variation in the situation shown here one if the number of pen increases then the total cost also increases two if the number of pen decreases then the total cost also decreases these two situations are called direct variation consider a train moving at a constant speed of 30 miles per hour after one hour the train has traveled 30 miles after two hours the train has traveled 60 miles and so on we can construct a chart and graph this relation as time increases the distance increases so this is an example for direct variation let us solve some problems based on unitary method a labor gets rupees 9800 for 14 days work how many days should he work to get rupees 21000 solution this is a situation of direct variation because if the number of working days increases then the money received also increases rupees 9800 is earned by labor in 14 days therefore money earned by that labor in one day will be 9800 divided by 14 is equal to rupees 700 and so rupees 21000 is earned by the labor in 21000 by 700 is equal to 30 days therefore rupees 21000 is earned by a labor in 30 days let us now see what is indirect variation observe the situation here one if one quantity increases the other quantity decreases that is the heap of pebbles increases but at the same time the number of pebbles in the bowl decreases two if one quantity decreases the other quantity increases these two situations are called indirect variation this kind of variation is called as inverse variation or indirect variation let us see another situation the table below shows the number of days to make a house which is indirectly proportional to the number of men we observe from this table that less number of men take more number of days to make the house whereas more number of men take less number of days to make the house so here also one quantity increases and the other decreases this is inverse variation example 2 
if 52 men can do a piece of work in 35 days, then 28 men will complete the same work in how many days? Solution This is a situation of inverse variation. Less men, more days of work. 52 men can do the work in 35 days. One man can do the work in 35 into 52 days. 28 men can do the work in 35 into 52 divided by 28 days. Therefore, 28 men can do the work in 65 days.